Oh look someone has emailed me I wonder what it is. Do not open very scary virus. Well I better open it then. Oh what is this? Please call oh, our support no, immediately. Viruses, we all hate them. Recently I've been fascinated about the internet and I've been digging into random weird rabbit holes about topics of useless information. And one of those topics happened to be computer viruses. Computer viruses have been around since the dawn of the internet and nowadays they're more accessible than ever. Whether you click on a wrong link, download an unknown file, or try to download Minecraft from a free, free sketchy ad website. There are numerous ways to get viruses, but here's the question for me. Which one is the deadliest of them all? But before we do dive into the video, I just want to let you guys know if you guys do enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing because I post content like this every single week, something like similar like this, I guess, just topics that I like to talk about. But yeah, I don't want to waste every, any of you guys' time. My name is Achilles and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go back in time a bit. The time is the late 1940s, and there's a man going by the name John von Neumann who just had an amazing idea. The theory of self-reproducing automata. He later published the idea on a paper later in 1966. The theory was essentially a thought experiment, speculated by some mathematicians that it would be possible for a mechanical organism, basically tons of computer codes that can damage machines and make copies of themselves to infect the host. Move forward to 1971, and a person going by the name Bob Thomas recently designed a new computer program called the Creeper Program. Now the program was initially made as a security test to see if programs can duplicate themselves, but with each hard drive it touched, it infected it and removed itself from the previous one. The program had no damage effect, but it did display the, the message on the screen, I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can. Quite hilarious of course, but little did he know that a plethora of future viruses would take to the spotlight. Different types and versions would span around the globe. Now, let's return to the present time. Nowadays, there are plenty of viruses to catch on your device, so let's analyze some of the more common types of viruses. First, Trojan viruses. These types of viruses are a type of virus that invades your computer designed as a real application or program. This virus is meant to trick you into installing it into your computer to deal damage on your data and network. Next, Bioware viruses. These types of viruses are installed onto your device without the user's knowledge. It invades the device to steal sensitive information and more network data. Adware viruses. This type of virus you see everywhere on the internet because it's, un it's an unwanted software that displays multiple ads to collect the user's data. Rootkick viruses. These I believe is one of the more dangerous viruses and for good reason. This virus allows the device to be accessed by an unauthorized users without it being detected. These types of viruses are hard to detect and have the ability to conceal themselves within the system. Ransomware. The ransomware virus is designed to deny access or encrypt the user's files. By locking these files, the virus will then present a paywall to which the user will be approached to pay for a decryption key. Basically, your files are just being held hostage. Worm viruses. The virus is a program that is installed to the device and it replicates itself to spread to other computers. It does this by working by the network and relying on devices with poor security barriers to get access to. Finally, keylogger viruses, the strangest ones of many viruses, but it allows the software to monitor and record every keystroke you make on your computer. Keyloggers can be very difficult to detect without the help of some antivirus software. And there are many more, but this is just a list of some. Well, what do you do if you have a virus? You can try a variety of ways to get rid of a computer virus, such as deleting the virus, running a virus scan, rebooting your computer in safe mode, or in some cases, disconnecting from the internet. But the question remains, what is the most dangerous computer virus? Well, it's hard to say due to there being so many bad ones. So I'll present the one that has tricked the most people, which is called the My Doom virus. This virus is easily one of the most destructive viruses to exist. It was first sighted on January 26, 2004. My Doom is a computer worm virus that affected everyone around the globe. Like mentioned previously, worm viruses have the ability to replicate themselves to other users' devices, so this one was one of the most fastest growing viruses to ever be recorded, even surpassing the I Love You virus that some of you may be familiar with. The virus was simple yet very effective. 
My doom started as an infected email attachment that reached many people around the world. With many curious about the unusual email, they continued to open the email. When open, they are presented with an error message that read the following. I'm just doing my job. Nothing personnel. Sorry. Leading many to believe that the person who was doing this was getting paid to do it. Now, many people were still skeptical and didn't open the email assuming it was spam. But the people that did open it came to realize it came with an attachment file. If the attachment file was opened, the My Doom virus email would resend itself to the other email addresses and users' address book found in the local files spreading itself to the others and therefore resetting the process. This gathered users into a botnet that would perform DDoS attacks on others. When the worm takes control over the victim's computer, it then opens many ports and prov also provides a backdoor allowing the virus to escape and return whenever they wanted. Now you're probably wondering to yourself why did people even open up the attachment in the first place? Well, the email was shown in a way to convince you that the only way to read it was to open up the attachment file. It it is believed that the earliest messages originated from Russia, so many claim the creator must be from there, but nobody knows for sure. But we do know that the organization slash creator of MyDoom was targeting a certain software company known as SCO. The virus had a planned and coordinated attack on the website of SCO to take place on February 1st, 2004. Although the initial attack was supposed to take place on the 1st, as soon as the worm was launched, the website of SCO went down and we don't know if this was due to the worm or if it was the SCO group who would shut down their own website. During the virus attack, the SCO group received 25% of the My Doom attack from various infected hosts. Later on, the SEO group offers a $250,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest of the worm's creator. On the 27th of January, the US and FBI began investigations into looking for the worm's creator. Well, this whole time we have been talking about My Doom A, but now let me introduce the second version of My Doom, which is called My Doom B. Let me explain the two different versions real quick. My Doom A was launched the 26th of January 2004, containing everything explained previously. The My Doom A virus came with DDoS attacks and various ports with a backdoor. The My Doom B was found two days after the initial attack. This new version includes the same payloads as the version A. Its whole goal was to assemble a similar attack to Microsoft's website beginning on the 3rd of February 2004. It wants to target the Microsoft website to block access to its sites and many other popular online antivirus websites, thus blocking antivirus tools or softwares. Microsoft also offered a $250,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the creator. The spread of My Doom continued and finally hit its peak on 28th of January 2004. It was now estimated that every 1 in 5 emails had the virus. When the 3rd of February rolled around and both attacks toward the companies were launched, the viruses didn't go as planned. Both of the viruses said were said not to work, or in other words, the codes of the viruses did not function correctly and ended up breaking. Microsoft prepared by offering a website that did not get affected by the MyDoom virus B, and the website only got minimal damage. The tech for both of the companies was basically a failure. It seemed that the creators of MyDoom also looked at this as a failure, because in the upcoming days, on the 12th of February, MyDoom version A would stop spreading, and MyDoom version B would stop spreading on the 1st of March. So what happened? You see, My Doom version B wasn't as effective as the first version. It did not spread as fast and had a ton of coding errors which made it defective. It said that the botnet for My Doom version B was not big enough to take down certain websites, hence why the attack towards Microsoft didn't work. But even though the viruses were minimal to big companies, that still doesn't mean it was a complete failure because the viruses throughout those days infected over 50 million computers and honestly, probably more than that. It without a doubt was one of the most biggest and fastest computer viruses to spread in the world. But was this the end of the MyDoom virus? Well, no actually. Later on in July, a new version of MyDoom would appear. This version was strong and replicated the same abilities as the previous two versions. This variant's whole purpose was to take down Google and others. Although this virus did not spread as fast as the previous ones, that didn't matter because there was one main goal that was achieved. On the 24th of July, 2004, my Doom's newest version would take down Google for the entire day. The search engine for Google would stop functioning and it would continue to attack Atlas Visa and Lycos, which made both of their websites slow down and unusable for several hours. 
Later on in the years, different versions of My Doom would be released, versions U, V, W, X, and many others, though these were not nearly as effective as the others, so they were just buried under the mud. In July 2009, the My Doom virus would spread through South Korea and the US, continuing to destroy many computers in the process. So, conclusion, My Doom was one of the, one of the most dangerous viruses to hit mankind. It damaged over 50 million computers and took down many big name companies. It is estimated that My Doom caused over 38 billion dollars in damages, making it one of the worst viruses ever. Also, what about those bounties Microsoft and SEO put out? Well, nobody got the rewards because the creators were never caught, nor was there any information leading to them. It's stated that 1% of emails are still getting infected by the Doom virus today, which is still very impressive considering how old it is. The tactics of the virus remain the same till this day, it spreads the same and damages the same. So, what did we learn today? Get an antivirus. And that was the end of the My Doom story. Not much else to say, but if you guys did stick around to the end of the video, thank you all. You know, it means the world to me. It means, it, it means more than you guys realize. And consider subscribing if you guys do and did enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, bye.